It's back to school week for schools and students in public schools across southern New England. But Catholic schools in the Fall River Diocese have been back since the start of September. 12 News reporter Kate Walsh shows us how their experience has been. Holy Trinity in Fall River has about 250 students enrolled right now. The students come from Tiverton, Fall River, Westport, and the surrounding area like Aquidneck Island. And because they're a private school, they're able to get resources in a different way than public schools can. And that's making teachers feel confident they'll stay safe. When we opened the doors on September 1st, we welcomed all of those students back home. When you're welcomed into Holy Trinity Catholic School in Fall River, you're greeted with that small community feel mixed with this state-of-the-art technology. First stop, this temperature reader made possible through a generous donation. If you pass this first test, you then select a pen from the sanitized pen cup to fill out contact tracing. It has been very stressful, very stressful, and uh, everything just kept changing, so we would put some Something together and a week later the state would come out with another guideline. Principal Brenda Gagnon said they worked non-stop throughout the summer to ensure these safety measures would mean a successful school year for teachers and students. It's paying off. I've taken in a number of families from um, the public districts around us and the feel is that the children belong in school. While she's seen new families enroll, she's also seen other families leave for a variety of reasons, making the enrollment there about on par with a typical year. Each day has been a new learning curve. Dorothy Mahoney Pacheco teaches middle school students in this pre-K through eight building. Every single day we have found a new piece of technology, a new piece of safety regulations, um, a new part of the classroom that needs to be transformed. But she feels Feels safe. Everyone has worked so tirelessly with the support of parents and families to make it so that this home is absolutely a safe place to be. When the pandemic hit last spring and schools closed, parents still had to pay tuition for their students. But this semester, they're finding less than 10% of students are studying remotely, and that's largely due to health concerns they may have. In the studio, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.